Dr. Dana here. So I can't really hide it anymore. I am pregnant. I'm about 13 weeks along. And I wanted to share with you my daily shake that I make in the morning. You can alter it to be really however you want at this point. Um, I tell a lot of people about it. <laughs> I give you the recipe, but I figured I'm making it, so why not show it? So basically, I actually made my own uh, nut milk. It's pretty simple. You soak almonds or walnuts overnight in the fridge. That's how I do it. And then you just grind them up in a blender. And I didn't have a strainer, so um, once they're ground up, sometimes your blender won't um, grind it up enough, so you can actually strain it through some cheesecloth to get the little particles out. It doesn't bother me because I put it in the blender anyway. It's a lot cheaper than buying almond milk or any other nut milk for that matter. Um, so I just finished my morning workout and I am going to make a protein shake. So the ingredients that you need are, this is what I love, it's a plant fusion unflavored protein powder. Um, any, any fruit, I mix fruit. I just get these huge bags of fruit. Um, if you prefer organic, you can go organic. Um, I use some spinach and a little turmeric. I don't always put honey in it, but for my son who's six, I put honey in it. And that's about it. So basically, I sort of already started and then realized I should probably just make the video for you. So I, first I, this is a, a bullet blender that I have, so I actually have to put the lid on and flip it over. So you have to sort of think of things in the reverse. So I put um, the fruit in, and then I put the, the almond milk in to sort of help to defrost it a little bit. And I just take this protein powder. Again, it's the plant fusion unflavor that I like, because that way you can flavor it however you want. You can put chocolate peanut butter powder in it. You can put coconut peanut butter powder in it. You can really do anything you want with it. So just take a scoop of it, right? And a scoop actually has 22 grams of protein in it. Um, it's all from plants. That's it. And then I put a little bit of turmeric in it. Turmeric is a great anti-inflammatory. Not too much, otherwise you're gonna be tasting it the whole day. Um, I really like to use berries actually in my shake. Um, I didn't have a lot of them today, I ran out. But berries are great sources of anti-inflammatory ingredients, so. And then I take a scoop of this wonderful spinach that I get in bulk. Handful of it. This is pre-washed, but if it's not, you should wash it first. And that's about it. Then I put my top on my Nutribullet. I'm sure you guys all have your favorite blenders, so feel free to comment on which ones you like. Shake it up just a tiny bit. This is probably going to need some water. I'm just going to add some right now. And again, you can add honey to it if you want it a little bit sweeter. You can add chocolate peanut butter powder. Let's see if I have some back here. Yep. Or I have some of this PB chocolate peanut butter powder, which you actually might like. Yeah. And then I put it in my handy Nutribullet here. Put it in and then one more thing that you can add is if you like your shakes creamy, I love to add avocado to my shakes. Um, just add a half of an avocado gives you all the great good fats. And then you just drink it and enjoy it. So this gives you an extra serving of vegetables, sometimes two, depending on how many you put in. And uh, gives you protein for the whole day, gives you some good fats, and it has a ton of antioxidants, which are anti-inflammatories, which can help with chronic pain issues, autoimmune disorders, etc. So feel free to like my YouTube channel, and you can also visit my website at Greenhouse Integrative Medicine. Com. Have a great day. Bye.